These three Lean Six Sigma affiliated system improvement tools are strategic. They are not so much Lean Six Sigma tools as business tools. I discuss them because they are so important and deliver the knowledge to improve any system. These tools show the position of your system within its competitive and external environments. They are great for planning and position yourself to create a competitive advantage. Let's start by overviewing each of them. I will go through the three tools one at a time. They all approach improving business performance from different angles. The first is SWOT. SWOT is an acronym for your areas of strength, areas of weakness, areas of opportunity, and areas of threats. This is an internally focused analysis that gives you an in-depth view of your system's ability to succeed. Next, we will look at PEST. PEST stands for political, economic, social, and technological. This differs from SWOT in that it covers external areas that impact your system. Though you have some influence on these external pressures, for the most part, these are things that happen to your system. Lastly, we will look at port five forces. These five forces present yet a different view of the environment your system exists in. The five forces are competitive rivalry, threat of new entry, buyer power, threat of substitution, and supplier power. Some of these areas you can have a direct impact on, others not. Next I will review SWAT in more detail. SWAT is designed to give you a realistic view of the condition of your current system. It gives you the ability to assess your competitive environment, your current capabilities, and threats to what you are trying to accomplish. It is built through either a brainstorming or brainwriting process. Understanding a SWOT analysis gives you a knowledge of where you're at, a feel for where you want to be, and starts the thinking of how to get there. Let's look at the process from a graphical point of view. Cultural strength can be key. It is one thing that makes the Toyota production system so powerful. Financial condition can also be a strength as well as utilizing Lean Six Sigma, which increases process velocity, improves quality, and decreases process cost. SWAT weaknesses could be your system's operating infrastructure or your financial health. Quality and culture could also represent weaknesses. Some opportunities might be improving your brand recognition, which is an inroad to competitors' income. Your success may lead to competitors exiting, primarily focusing on operational excellence, customer intimacy, or innovation may give you a competitive advantage. Another opportunity involves using the tools of the Six Plus Sigma Toyota production system. This list of six threats is not all-encompassing, but gives you a view of threats to your system's health. It includes a market that is maturing and excessive competition. Politics that constantly change is also a threat. Next, let's review PEST. PEST is a good tool that analyzes some of the big forces impacting your system. Your ability to change these forces is generally small to none. Let's look at your stock market evaluation. Evaluating this, you know it is driven by three things. The estimate is that 80% of that stock evaluation is due to economic performance. 15% is due to the industry that you're in and 5% is your ability to perform within that industry. Certainly your system will be more effective if the economy is healthy. Politics impacts your business through policies and the ability to impact the economy. Whereas economics is very difficult to control, donations impact politics. PEST is a good tool to view your system from the outside, but it does not give you much information about what you can do to improve the competitive position of your system. Let's look at PEST in a little more detail. Certainly laws and regulations have a political impact on your system. You may be able to influence politics, but only so much. A current example could be the political responses to global warming. This will impact many businesses. We have already discussed one of the ways the economy can impact a system. Other ways include taxes and interest rates. Both of these negatively impact your growth. Your system may also be impacted by consumer confidence. Social impacts to your system can be key. An example I heard of was a helicopter manufacturer that decided to move to Phoenix, Arizona because it would drive down their costs. Unfortunately, they did not consider that the Phoenix area education infrastructure did not address helicopter manufacturing in their curriculum. One of the things that makes Silicon Valley such a hotbed of innovation are the multiple universities that provide the education Silicon Valley needs. Lifestyle needs can be critical. There was a recent news report of a businessman who desired to expand his business into France. He asked individuals in France if they had to, would they work extra if things got behind? The response was no. That no represents the impact of the French lifestyle. Addressing technology is not just for technology companies. All companies use technology to improve efficiency. New technology sometimes has the ability to upend industries. This is also true with breakthrough technologies. Next, I will overview Porter's contribution. 
Porter is a wonderful business analyst and author. He has come up with the five forces that impact systems. Every system can be impacted by suppliers and buyers, along with the threat of new entries or substitution. The last force has to do with competitive rivalry. Every system should have profound knowledge of these five forces. This knowledge leads to an improved competitive position. Let's look at these five forces in a little more detail. The first force includes the threat of a new entrant. There is a threat to your system as well as a threat to the new entrant system. This list contains things such as brand loyalty, economy of scale, and the system's cumulative experience. These are all areas that if you strengthen would make it difficult for another system to come in and take your customers. Switching costs represent two costs, one to your system and one to your customer. Ideally, the switching costs will be high for your customer and low for you. Buyers also have power over your system. It can range from their average order size to the cost of them changing from you. Price sensitivity can drive buyer power. There is also a threat of substitution. Knowing the number of existing products or services that a competitor can provide is important. If there is a substitute to your product or service, the price then becomes very important. Also, the number of competing products or services they have is important. The fourth force is supplier power. As supply chains become more important, this power becomes more important. Putting your supply chain vendors in tiers can help you understand their importance and capabilities. The cost of changing suppliers is also important to know. Can a new supplier deliver the quantity, quality, and price point that you need? The last force is competitive rivalry. A gross point of knowledge is simply the number of competitors. A more detailed point of knowledge are the quality differences and how those quality differences give you a competitive advantage. This category includes brand loyalty and barriers to exit. Competitive rivalry is probably an area that is already pretty well understood. Understanding these three strategic knowledge gathering areas in detail gives you a competitive advantage. The knowledge gains let you make strategic decisions on investment. It gives you an in-depth understanding of competitors and how to combat them. Knowledge is power. Every manufacturer, business, medical organization, government, military, and hospital operates a system. These three tools give you the great understanding of your system, where your system stands, areas to improve your system, and areas to address. No need to pick and choose. All three are different and all three have their uses. A system would be most improved if all three were performed. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt. I can create operational excellence through www.leanbusiness.co. Use the tools of the Toyota production system to improve your system to a Six Plus Sigma system and guide your use of innovation tools of Silicon Valley at www.world-innovators.com.